What's up? Put the sports gamer here and has Sean McFay quit on the Rams? It looks so. McFay breaking. Sean McFay, future in limbo, is coach quitting. Coach Sean McFay has leaked to ESPN that his Rams future is in limbo, which is simply a marshmallow soft way of saying that his circle is trying to suggest that to the audience they might want out. He has earned the right to do as he pleases, even if he's on the contract to 2026. So he won the Super Bowl with the Rams with Sam Bradford. Amazon was throwing a ton of money at him to quit the Rams and join them for their football on Thursday night. The Rams, in turn, opened up their checkbook and gave him a contract extension until 2026, paying him $15 $15 million a year to coach the Rams. He decided to stay with the Rams. And he has a contract to 2026. But now he's speaking in code saying he wants out. The latest code comes via ESPN report that states Mc- McVeigh's future in LA is in limbo. This comes in the heels of ongoing suggestions that after winning the Super Bowl, the television networks will be his next suitors, which he wants to do television. Television's easy. They get paid huge money. They get way overpaid, these announcers on television. Tony Romo, is he worth all that money? I don't think so. Was it $12 million a year to show up one day a week, announce a football game? Sports, which I said in my other video, sports is just crazy. How much money everybody makes in sports. Front office sports has reported that TV networks can make another run to land the young Rams head coach. The Rams had an abysmal year. I would expect the networks to call McVay and gauge his interest again. I'm sure some already have. And I'm sure he already has been contacted. I'm sure he's made his decision. I never liked McVay. He's a good coach. Obviously, he's a good coach. Let's look at his record. He started off basically Tampa coaching assistant, but then he went to Washington as an offensive assistant coach and tight ends coach, offense coordinator. Then the Rams hired him. Youngest coach ever, head coach ever in the NFL. And he had success right away. Went to the playoffs, lost. Then went to the Super Bowl and had the most pathetic Super Bowl in the history of NFL with Jeff Goff. Looked like he had a deer in the headlights look the whole game. The next year he didn't make it, but it was 9-7. Then lost in the playoffs at 10-6. and They went, won the Super Bowl with Sam Bradford. It was a great year. And this year he's 5-11. First sign of adversity you quit is a they had a ton of injuries on uh, offense and you get, you're gonna struggle you're not gonna have a success every single year you're gonna struggle and this is a struggle year so what does he do he he wants to quit like a little baby he's an arrogant fool and he wants to quit so the rams they're likely to be gearing up for a rebuild so here's one that they have begun without a first round pick to 2024 due to the blockbuster trades that made them in the name of winning the Lombardi Trophy. So teams make sacrifices. They trade their picks. They get these big time players. To make a run in the Super Bowl. It's happened over and over again. They did it. So they're not going to have that many picks. This says. If the rumors of McVay being tired. And not wanting to endure a rebuild. Then there's money to be made in broadcasting. Oh the poor guy. Tired. This is what. I, I'm, I'm going to make controversial remarks here. Head coaching in an FL. In my opinion is not that difficult you have to make decisions but you have an army of coaches and personnel to help you you have running backs coach you have offensive line coach you have wide receivers coach you have tight end coach defensive line coach linebackers coach second like all these coaches to actually teach the guys the plays and help to run the plan i know mcfay is the offensive coordinator for this team I'm sure he has an offensive assistant to help him out. But it's way overblown that these head coaches have such a difficult job and it's so tiring. Yes, they spend a lot of time in the office, mostly because so they don't want two tough things. They stay in the office all day and all night. And I don't, who knows what they're doing? Yes, they show up for the two-hour practice and look and see how, what the players are doing. But what else do they do with their time? While the other players are in team meetings with the specific coach for their position and they're probably the head coach in the office on doing who knows what just like the president of the united states everybody says they're tough but you have thousands and tens of thousands of people helping you out in their job all they gotta do is make a decision here and there 
and and read from a teleprompter for a speech. Anyways, I'm probably going to get slammed for these remarks, but I just want to say, like, this is way of a blown that's very tiring to be a head coach. Look at Belichick and look at Carroll in Seattle, and they're, like, in their 70s still coaching, and they love it. They're not going to quit in their team like McFay. So look at the... Look at what the Rams did in their checkbook. McFay is third on the list as top 10 highest paid coaches in U.S. sports. Third, does he deserve it? He's been to two Super Bowls, 1-1, one, one, but I doubt he deserves to be up there with these coaches. And it's weird that only one coach is on a top 10 list that doesn't coach football, Popovich. I think he's going to be done in uh, San Antonio. Antonio's basically give it up on competing. They have, all the, they have a college team out there competing. But everything is coached. Bill Belichick, number one. Carroll, number two. I think they both deserve it. They, they've been there a long time. They've dedicated their lives to these teams. They've won Super Bowls. Tomlin, again, another winning season. Deserves to be up there. Andy Reid deserves to be up there. John Harbaugh, many years, won a Super Bowl up there. Many years, he, he, they deserve to be up there, but not McVay. McVay does not deserve to be up there. And it shows, right now, it shows why, as he quits, he's quitting his team. He's such a loser. Let go, go on Amazon, show up on Thursday nights, and you make your tens of millions of dollars, and go away. And, and hopefully, these NFL teams will never hire him ever again. He's not to be trusted. Let him... Let him be on TV the rest of his life. So he has three, there's an article on three replacements to Sean McVay as head coach. I think they're, they're going to lean towards one. But obviously the big names are going to show up. Sean Payton is going to show up. I don't uh, Sean Payton might possibly he get an interview with Denver. But he might possibly go. Unless the... Maybe not. Because they're going to be in the rebuilding yet. He, doesn't want re he wants to go to success right away. And Jim Harbaugh... I laid a video. Hopefully, you guys watched that video. I laid a video that where he's gonna go. I think it's either Denver or Carolina. And Raheem Morris, who I think is gonna be the next Rams coach. He's the defensive coordinator right now. There'll be an easy transition from McVay to him, and I think he is the next coach. So, what do you guys think? Do you think McVay is a loser, quitting on his team, even though they just signed for an extension to 2026? I think teams have to pay coaches the contract when they get fired. I think McFay needs to pay the Rams back some of this money that they gave him. So what do you think? Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe, like, and thanks. See ya.